नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू सिंपली सिंपल कुकिंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ ब्रेकफास्ट आइटम अ रवा उपमा और अ सिंपल ब्रेकफास्ट रेसिपी मेड आउट ऑफ सेमोलिना कमिंग अप वेल रवा उपमा इज अगेन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन ब्रेकफास्ट आइटम्स यू कैन हैव इन अ महाराष्ट्र हाउस होल्ड अलॉन्ग विद कांदा पोहा वेल आई हैड प्रिपेयर कांदे पोहे बिफोर और कांदा पोहा बिफोर सो यू कैन चेक आउट द लिंक ऑन टॉप ऑफ योर स्क्रीन so today i'll be sharing some tips which will ensure that your ukma doesn't become sticky and it doesn't form lumps so those of who who are seeing me for the first time well i saw such kind of simple and interesting recipes every week so please do consider subscribing and also don't forget to click on the bell notification icon so that you will always receive a notification whenever i upload a new video so let's go ahead and check out the ingredients now for this ukma of course we require rava so i have taken one full cup of rava this is around 250 grams of rava or suji or semolina one small finely chopped onion one medium sized tomato some carrots some curry leaves and some chopped green chilies some grated coconut to garnish some chopped coriander to garnish and we will also make use of fresh lemon juice along with that i have taken of course salt to taste and we require around 1 teaspoon of sugar and 1 tablespoon of pure ghee Well as I said I will be sharing some tips with you so that your ukma doesn't become very sticky or it doesn't form lumps so the very first step in doing that is we have to roast this rava now we, if you add this rava directly to the ukma your ukma is bound to become sticky and also later on when you have to cook this uh, rava you require some water now I won't be adding cold water I will be adding a little hot water to it so along with roasting of the rava I am going to also start heating some water so as i said i have already kept some water to heat up and i am going to roast the rava in this pan so let's add the ghee and let it melt well our water is also quite heating up so let's cover it up and our ghee is also melted completely so once the ghee melts i'll be adding the suji or rava in it and then let's stir it and also the rava will start to puff up a bit once you start roasting it this is exactly the same way how i roasted this rava when i was making prasada chashira the only difference is the quantity of ghee during the time of making shira i had added a lot of ghee well we will be cooking it later on in oil for ukma so the ghee quantity is little less so after around like 10 to 12 minutes our rava seems to be done so you can see the rava has started changing its color so i am going to take it out in a bowl so our rava seems to be ready now let's start cooking the ukma so i am going to take the same pan in that add around 2 tablespoons of oil so now in this oil i am going to add a half a teaspoon of mustard seeds and some asafoetida or hing as well a pinch of asafoetida hey or hing gives a really good smell so in goes rai or mustard seeds pinch of hing and then we have to add the green chilies so the green chilies will start to sizzle as they do then add your onions and then later on just add the curry leaves just give it a stir our water seems to have heated up so let's take it off the gas we are going to require it later also add your chopped carrots Well again this is again a good part of preparing an ukma you can use different vegetables whatever you like you can use some french beans uh, or you can use some green peas along with um, some cauliflower as well i'm just using some onions and some carrots and now i'm going to add in some tomatoes so in goes the tomatoes give them a stir as these vegetables are cooking they are smelling really wonderful add in salt to taste also add 1 teaspoon of sugar now once all these uh, veggies are blended together we are going to add in water so so the hot water water which we have made i'm going to add it in this mixture now i have taken 1 uh, cup of rava so i am going to add around 2 cups of water this is the start I still have some water left so I I can use that later on so once we add the rava the rava soaks up all the water and then it starts becoming dry so let this water boil and all the vegetables be cooked in this water 
squeeze in some fresh lemon juice as well as it's cooking so after two to three minutes now our vegetable seems to have been cooked completely now it's time to add our suji or rava in this so let's add it slowly and remember that as you add it you have to keep stirring it so that it doesn't form any lumps so add it slowly and it and keep stirring simultaneously well it will start boiling don't worry about it it will slow down later so keep stirring it so that so that it doesn't form lumps well again you have to do this on a very low flame well i don't have any flame that's why i have to do it quickly now at this stage if you feel that uh, uh, the your rava has become too dry you can add in little bit of more water and then quickly again stir it well just cover it up and let this rava cook well with the vegetables in it well after a couple of minutes just open and check wow our ukma seems to be done so let's take it off the gas wow look at the color of it look and the aroma it is giving out so now it's time to serve so let's serve now you can just garnish it with some freshly grated coconut on the top and some coriander so wasn't that simple guys well this is how you can make a simple upma out of it well if you have any other variation you prepare ukma in some other way i would be very happy to hear from you so please do share your feedback and your experience in the comments below as always i have also shared the recipe of this ukma in the description so do check out the description well from now on along with following me on uh, facebook and twitter now you can also follow us on instagram so see you again guys next time in my next video till the time you keep experimenting with food share it with your friends and don't forget to enjoy Take care.